This wiki page shows embedded Markdown content. The Markdown is hosted externally on GitHub. The wiki page pulls in the Markdown by using the external content extension. In this video, you will learn how to embed externally hosted content into your wiki. I am Jeroen de Dau, Director of Professional Wiki. We created the external content extension for one of our clients. External content is fully open source, so you can download it and install it for free. You can embed content by using the embed parser function. This function takes the URL of the to be embedded content. At the time of recording this video, the external content extension is at version 1.3, and it only supports embedding of Markdown. You can embed files with different extensions, such as .txt. If you allow this via the configuration, though all this content will still be rendered as Markdown. The extended Markdown syntax is supported, which means that you can embed things such as tables or fast code blocks. External content also supports embedding of relative Markdown links by automatically turning those into full URLs. The extension comes with special support for GitHub and Bitbucket. For GitHub, you can provide view URLs. So what we have here is a raw URL. Notice the raw. And the way that we get this URL is by first navigating to our readme file and then clicking on raw. We can, however, skip the last step by just using the GitHub URL. and the extension will automatically understand that it needs to get the content from the raw location. We can further simplify this particular case where we are getting the readme file from a directory in the repository, in this case, the root directory, by just using that directory and the external content extension will then automatically look for a readme file in this root directory of the repository. This also works for other directories and it will default to looking for a readme.md file. Handling of Bitbucket is comparable, though this comes also with a bits bucket. Uh, yes, a Bitbucket parser function. And if you use that particular parser function, it will also validate that the URL is an actual valid Bitbucket URL. External content replaces our older GitHub and GitHub extensions. You can configure the external content extension in several ways. For instance, you can specify which domains content can be embedded from, and you can specify which file extensions are allowed. Furthermore, you can specify basic auth credentials, and this is done on a per domain basis, and allows you to embed restricted content into your wiki. Embedded content is cached in the wiki pages. It is retrieved when making an edit to a page. You can also disable the wiki cache. This will ensure the content is always completely up to date at the cost of slower loading speed. You can also refresh all the pages that contain external content by using the maintenance script provided by the extension. The extension documentation is linked in the YouTube video description and in our release blog post. External content was created and is maintained by Professional Wiki. It is one of our many open source MediaWiki projects. Other examples include the Maps extension, the Chameleon skin, and Semantic MediaWiki. If you find our open source projects useful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. For MediaWiki development work, get in touch with us to commission the most professional MediaWiki development services. We also provide fully managed and enterprise-grade MediaWiki hosting. Links are in the YouTube video description.